folks. Welcome to another edition of Motorcycle Den. Today we're going to be riding a Moto Guzzi California 1400 Touring. It's the first time we've ever rode it uh, due to some unusual circumstances. I have the privilege of riding this for uh, a little over 130 miles. So we should get a good feel for it and what we like or don't like about it and do my best to let you know. It's definitely different than what I'm used to. You know, uh, I love the seating position already. This bike is smooth. I'm 5'10". Uh, just to let you know, I have about a 31 inch inseam probably. I wear like 32 pants, I don't know, some somewhere around there. Um, so, just to let you know, if it may fit you or or whatever this bike definitely has a little rumble to it uh, I guess from the motor being sideways you can feel it does have a little bit of a I don't I guess I'd call it rumble I wouldn't call it shake you feel it in uh, eh, your legs a little bit the floorboards are fairly smooth they vibrate maybe I won't even want to say vibrate you feel it just slightly in the floorboards when you're on the gas um, and in the grips just ever so slightly but it's not an annoyance I, I, what I like about it is it, I mean it lets you know that you're on a motorcycle that's for sure uh, and I've never been behind a windshield like this but uh, it actually has great airflow I mean I don't I usually like a windshield that blows the air up over me uh, this one I'm trying to think let's see I mean I feel it it I guess it does blow the air up over me but I feel like some air coming around the side here and it you know comes in around your neck area chest which is great for a warm day uh, yeah the airflow is awesome on this thing now we granted we haven't been to highway speeds or anything but the mirrors are pretty clear it's got a heel toe shifter which take a little getting used to you know, I have uh, you know just I, mean, I have a Yamaha FJR so it's uh, definitely a lot different than that but now I'm feeling a slight bit of warm air come back under my uh, that might just be because of the wind the way the wind's blowing but coming back under my right leg a little bit. Um, I'm sure it's coming off this right cylinder but I mean I don't know I'm thinking it was like the low 80s today low to mid 80s so it's I mean nothing uncomfortable it's torquey you can tell that the seat feels great um, it's definitely softer than the uh, Bill Meyer seat I have on the FJR, but it feels feels comfortable. Granted, we'll know a little bit more by the time we get home, but uh, I'm liking the seat. After I get home and we've got in a, about 130, 40 miles 
under a belt on this I'll try to do a follow-up and uh, let you guys know what my feelings are on it after a ride that long so they call it a touring bike uh, it's got two hard saddle saddle bags and I really wanted to walk around this with the camera on and I actually forgot but, um, I probably won't get a chance to do that I may but I mean the instrumentation is really easy to see it's right there where you you know you barely have to look down uh, ignition key right there uh, it's got a key fob um, an alarm system on it and I know it's got all kinds of other gadgets and things you can change and adjust uh, it's got like daytime running lights uh, I think they're I think they're LED some of them some of the lights up there are um, This bike's pretty smooth, I'll tell you. It, it feels great on, on your feet. Like I said, you just you feel a slight rumble. I feel more on my feet than anything. The handlebars are really, really very smooth. I gotta say, I'm surprised at the airflow. Now, I get cold easily, so I, I like the FJR for that wind protection. But on a warm day, you, it, it gets hot. This is the six speed. More of an overdrive, I guess. But uh, this thing's it's torquey. I, I like it and it's uh, very smooth. The transmission on this is just man, it's, this thing shifts so smooth. Man, does this thing have a, a rumble to it, but it's cool. I love it. Yeah, uh, the brakes on this seem to be pretty good. I haven't really squeezed them real hard. Um, I, I mean, to me, uh, what I'm used to, FJR is a little bit, uh, it brakes a little easier. Um, but this, I'm getting back to the, the clutch. It's easy to pull. It's not hard to hold it by any means, and uh, but it does let out extremely far. If, it, if there was a way to adjust that, I would definitely want to. But it does have adjustment for the clutch hand when it's far out for me. So I don't know if that would. I don't know how you adjust the uh, catch on the on a hydraulic clutch, but. That would be something I'd want to change if possible. I'm, that's just that's so far out. I'm just not used to it. It'll take a little bit of time. Yeah, you can feel a little heat off these cylinders, and it must be depending on which way the wind flow is, uh, the airflow. I, I'm feeling it on the side of my left calf right now, just a little bit. Uh, but you know when it's, I mean cylinders do stick out so your legs are almost behind them so uh, really it's amazing that you don't feel more all right get ready to fire this thing up it sounds great feels great at an idle
Well, probably went about eh, 70 something miles. And uh, my butt was getting a little bit numb on the back, right where the seat raises. But you know, that's going to vary again with different people. Um, but so far, I really like the bike. Yeah, that's one thing that's probably nice. I didn't realize, but that air is cooling down. Um, well, of course, I didn't plan on being out late, but... Uh, that air is getting a little cool, but... i tell you, my legs don't feel cold. It's probably that warm air off the cylinder is blowing back on my legs, which is good. I like this bike, it's pretty cool. Getting a little used to the clutch already, so. Didn't take too long. This has great airflow. Only at, only at times do I feel a little bit of buffeting, but this is great. Ah. I like it. I like the airflow. Hmm. And it, like I said, there is slight buffeting at times. This bike just, uh, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but uh, you know, since this isn't mine, I'll definitely take it easy on it. But bike wants you to just give it a handful of throttle it feels it's it's it feels pretty torquey I don't you know I mean you, you just barely move the throttle and you feel it set you back a little bit it's got a nice feel to it yeah the uh, it was somewhat unfortunate circumstances that allowed me to it's actually a great opportunity to ride this bike and guy trusts me to to ride his bike I know he really likes it I don't want to do anything to you know, be hard on or tear it up or anything but uh it's a it's a nice motorcycle and uh, but anyways had a uh, medical problem uh, the other day on a ride and, uh, we actually had to leave this at a fire station fortunately where we pulled over there was a uh, there was right next right across the street from the fire station and there was a fireman at the store where we decided to pull over we were out in the middle of nowhere basically and they were very kind enough to help out and I really my hats off to them guys are a great bunch of guys and uh, I'm gonna find out the station and uh, put it up there because I, I, I appreciate all that they did but they, they were even generous enough to let us keep it there overnight uh, so you know it was safe locked up and everything I appreciate I thank you guys very much uh, that was that was just awesome what you guys did and uh, the care that you took and stuff. But, so, uh, you know, somebody had to come back and get the bike. So it was a couple hours from where we live, a couple, two and a half or something like that. So we came back down the next day and picked it up. But they were out on a call when we got there, so we had to wait a Two and a half more hours or something, and uh, it's understandable, man. They're out there saving lives, so my hat's off to them. And uh, I'm grateful that there are people out there that are willing to do that, put their lives on the line 
to help others. But, back to this review. I don't know, it's fun riding different bikes, you know? You get to feel how they are. And, and uh, this is a different beast, that's for sure. Man, what a view. Man, what a view, that's just beautiful. This thing's awesome, man. Whoa, man, that's so cool. You, you rev it up and you feel the whole bike kick sideways. Yep. Yep. All right, guys, it's time for our final thoughts. Um, first thing I want to tell you, this bike has some added wind deflectors at the bottom of the windshield, which greatly uh, helps with the airflow. It also has Agostini exhaust with the DB killer still installed. So uh, if you are interested, I would in aftermarket exhaust, I would definitely look into that. They sound excellent on this bike. So now, and those are the only two things that are, have been changed. The rest of the bike is completely stock. So, um. I want to mention that we really didn't get into the specs of this bike, um, a lot of the features. You, uh, you guys can look that stuff up online. I didn't want to spend the time getting into it when I know that everyone can find out uh, just by looking on uh, Moto Guzzi's website what, what comes with this bike. So I wanted to take the approach to let you know what I was experiencing, how I felt about the bike, and try to relay that to you. So, um, we'll talk a little bit about the ergonomics of the bike. Um, first thing, I want to mention I am five nine and a half. Uh, my inseam is approximately 31, 32 inches. So that will give you a good comparison on how this bike will fit you. Um, I can easily reach the ground sitting on this bike. I don't have any issues at all. Uh, not that it's extremely short, but my feet comfortably touch the ground. Um, I never felt like this bike's too tall for me or too short. It was a very comfortable fit for my height. Um, the handlebars, they have a great neutral position, I would say. I never felt like I was leaning forward or like I was having to hold myself up like the bars were too far back. They really uh, fit me great. Comfortable position. Um, the switches and everything were easily to access. Um, they were not what I'm used to. Um, some of the bikes I've been on, you actually you could feel the switches. It, they were such a light touch that at some point I didn't even know that if I moved the switch or not. So I don't know if that's a good or bad, but that's the way they were. They're very easy to uh, operate. Um, one th one thing that uh, for me was difficult to get used to was the clutch lever. It engages extremely far out. Um, it is a hydraulic clutch, and I don't know if that's adjustable or not, but if it is and I had this bike, I would try to do something about that. That was difficult for me to get used to, but other than that, I didn't have any issues just getting on this bike and uh, riding it. Um, 
the brakes they worked very well um, I would say probably average I've felt some that are better and I've also felt some that are worse um, the seat I would like to mention at first the seat felt great and I mean it, it does feel good I don't want to take that away from it um, the part that got to me uh, the seat raises up a, a few inches maybe two to three inches in the back it kind of supports you uh, a little bit and right where my butt touches that seat where it raises up I at about 50 to 60 miles I started it started falling asleep there started getting some numbness and at 70 miles I was ready to get off it was completely asleep there so I don't know maybe I needed to scoot forward a little bit but for my height and the position I was in that was the most comfortable to sit there but I think personally I would be looking to buy a, a different seat so take that for what you will um, the um, as far as the handling of the bike the bike handles excellent in corners you don't it's not a super light motorcycle but when you're riding it you don't feel the weight at all and even sitting on it, it I, I didn't feel much weight it sits really low um, the bike is very nimble, what I, I would say, in corners, uh, has good exo, uh, exo, let me get my words straight, it has good acceleration, and I would say where this bike excels is the, the torque, uh, it felt great, you open the throttle and you felt, you felt that bike set you back, uh, it was a neat feeling. Um, it has a very unique feel because of the motor sits sideways in the frame, and it, it's just unique. That's all I know how to say about it. it. You really felt like you were on a motorcycle. Uh, it's different than anything I've ever felt. So uh, if you're looking for something that's a little different that everyone doesn't have, this would be a great bike to look at. I don't want to be redundant with a lot of the things I'm telling you here, but the mirrors were very clear. The airflow was great on this bike. Uh, it Basically, I've never been behind a shield like this, as I've mentioned before, but it throws the air up over your head, and uh, you do get a light breeze coming around the sides of the shield that hits you uh, just lightly in the neck and shoulder area. It was... Um, it was very comfortable. Uh, your legs are directly behind the cylinders on this bike. So every once in a while I did feel a slight amount of heat off the cylinders. It was nothing uncomfortable or unbearable. Um, that wouldn't sway my decision at all in purchasing this bike. I, I have an FJR and it gets hotter than this bike does. So at times. So... And they're all, they're both, well, it's like comparing apples to oranges, I guess. But, uh, this bike's pleasant to look at. It does have a wide stance, um, especially from looking at it from the back. Uh, the, it's, I don't know the dimensions, but it, it's pretty wide. Because the saddlebags come out pretty far. But you do have, you know, you gain uh, storage capacity with that. Um. So I hope this uh, gives you a, a little insight as to what the Moto Guzzi California 1400 Touring is all about. We want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you haven't, we ask you to please subscribe. And if you already are a subscriber, please hit that share button. Thank you very much.